So I'm Lucas, I'm the curator of natural science for Birmingham Museums Trust, and we're here in Wild City at Birmingham Museum and Gallery. This is our family gallery here at the museum. And this is where most of the, the taxidermy is currently on display here. So Birmingham Museums has a huge natural science collection, uh, consists of many different types of things, about an estimated quarter of a million specimens. These include a large number of taxidermy <coughs> specimens, particularly birds, but also preserved plants, fossils, minerals, and things like uh, seashells as well. And this is an example of one of them. So this is an egg and nest from a group of objects called the Chase Collection. These were collected by one person who wanted to basically collect one of every single bird in Britain. And that not included the adult specimens, but also young eggs and nests as well. So this is part of an enormous collection of uh, over 3,200 uh, different clutches of eggs donated to the museum. So these two specimens, the buzzard and the woodpecker, were part of one of a, a major display in uh, Birmingham Museum and Gallery called the Beale Memorial Gallery. And it was full of many different cases, all featuring different species of British birds. They often had a full sort of set work, so showing the habitat in which the birds lived, trees and rocks where they made their nests and things like that. The gallery entirely filled with different specimens of birds. At some point they decided to change the gallery and when they did that most of the cases were dismantled but we kept the specimens. And now at Wild City they've returned to Birmingham Museum and Gallery um, where they were back, first back in the 1920s. So we're here at Think Tank now because um, a lot of the taxidermy that used to be on display at Birmingham Museum and Gallery is now here at Think Tank. And uh, here we have uh, an amazing specimen. This is a great orc. This is one of only a few surviving specimens in the world. Uh, the great orc has been hunted to extinction. This specimen probably came from the last place where the great orcs lived, a tiny island off the coast of Iceland. And this specimen is known as the Clungunford orc because it was part of a, a big display of, uh, of seabirds in a, in a place called Clungunford Hall in Shropshire. Birmingham Museums brought it, bought it in 1971 at auction. It's one of the, one of the last specimens to be, uh, to be sold at auction. Uh, so we're very lucky to have it here in Birmingham. So this amazing skeleton of a, of a giant deer was part of the very first uh, natural history displays at Birmingham Museum and Gallery. So we opened in 1913. It's been on display at the museum, both Birmingham Museum and Gallery, and now at Think Tank ever since. So yeah, well over 100 years now.